your daily hour with me. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's the program. Da, da, da. Hey, we're on TV once again. Once a day, we're going to turn the machines. <laughs> and we start talking. We're going to be here for an hour. It's true. So enjoy us. Because we're not moving from this set unless you turn us off. Or a computer, if you're watching us on YouTube. Hello, interwebs. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Uh, whoa. Viewer it's population of maybe uh, one less on, on the YouTube machine. And the future. I, I joke. I joke. In the yes. entire future. In the entire future, yes. <laughs> most important audience to remember. How are you doing today, Carl? I'm doing swell. Good. Yes. It's Thursday. It is Thursday. And we're going to be doing something. We're going to be Did talking you? to Mr. Ginsu or, uh, yeah, um, well, let me, let me let you ask the questions and then I'll answer them. Um, Instead of what? talking over you. Oh, you were gonna, what? What were you gonna say? I was nothing. I, w I was gonna fill the um, uh, the ginormous amount of airtime that we have that sometimes goes by like that. Uh huh. But why do I need to fill the ginormous airtime that goes by like that if I constantly? You know, it's like, Carl, is there a point to this story? Uh huh. No, there's no point to the story. So. Oh yeah. My Cut. story is like. Ugh. My questions have a point. The questions yes. I had, I I had some questions prepared. I was well, gonna ask. You've been doing this for five years. I was gonna ask you some questions, and they were important. They they are important. Like, do you see anything on the streets in the last 24 hours? Yeah. Um, I actually saw um, a police car that had um, um, pulled over someone. Uh, as I was coming over here, the park, uh, uh -huh. Westfield, or, not Westfield. Um, the park, the park, the general park anyway, yeah. Well, yeah, the park at 4th and, or, I mean, not 4th, um, Harrison and Division. Anyway, uh, th th there was a, um, there's a park there, um, or, uh, I guess it's Black Lake Boulevard before you get to the intersection of Harrison. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, th there was a police car there, and I was like, as I was kind of jogging to the studio, I was just reminded of how much reflective power both the signs have and how much luminance power the police patrol car lights have itself. Uh -huh. You know, for it to be visible, you know, on the side of the road, pulling someone over or, you know, some other sort of emergency situation. Uh-huh. And, of course, the police officer also had the uh, shined, you know, his beacon from the uh, driver's side door, you know, to at, at, the, at the vehicle. Of course, I didn't really stay a whole lot of... of bystander looking at this um, police car um, even though maybe I might have um, when I was like in second grade, first grade uh, uh, I was really fascinated with Chip's um, California Highway Patrol, that old old, old TV Eric show. Eric Estrada Eric Estrada, yeah um, um, old TV show by today's standards um, since it's like 30 years old or something like that. Wow. Yeah. That uh, kind of puts me back. Um, I, uh, you know, I was really fascinated with all the slow motion crashes. And, oh my gosh, it's going to be really interesting for me to be working as a police officer. Uh huh. Uh, but, you know, police officers get PTSD and, you know, I'm probably didn't even know anything about PTSD myself until I started, you know, getting myself into the adult world after high school. 
um, uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, being um, an uh, individual, uh, the police officer, um, you probably don't want people kind of leering over you. And, no. And like, hey, what you doing? Why did you pull over that person? Nobody likes leering, yeah. Yeah, so uh, uh, that's why they have uh, probably a catchphrase. Move along now. Nothing to see here. Yeah. Too much leering. Yep. So what were, what were they doing when you saw them? You saw them on the street? Yeah. The uh, park, the uh, police car, and, and the um, person that the police car pulled over had uh, pulled off into like this kind of gravel area that's uh, by um, right in front of of the of uh, uh, the park. Um, kind of drove uh, some location, I guess, through the old pharmacy. There used to be an old pharmacy right next to the park. And maybe it shut down because, it, you know, this is the sign of the times. You know, maybe it's expensive for pharmacies to remain open or pharmacy techs probably found, um, you know, a different um, job to work at or who knows. But anyway, this uh, um, former pharmacy thing is now going to be some sort of restaurant or something cafe cafe um in in the you know next spring this coming spring so it'll be interesting to kind of see how things evolve and change of course Uh uh-huh things evolve and change throughout life you know uh, be careful if you blink you uh you'll miss life or whatever that um quotation is from uh, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, like the last five seconds or ten seconds of that movie. And yeah, I, I would have to say you probably shouldn't blink because you might let miss like um, a general overall part of your life. Well, you gotta moisten your eyeballs. <laughs> probably, yeah. You don't want to get, have them uh, film up with dust and yeah. talcum powder. Or yeah. Well, what? You know, not not that people use talcum powder. You know, I I I share your um. Kind How's of, Mr. Ginsu? You? you know, low level um, excitement about talcum powder because that is something that only I guess most senior citizens use. Hey, That's, Mr. Ginsu is into talcum powder. Yeah. Hey, Try to ev- el- eliminate mold from this pot plants. Did oh, that's what he was he trying to do, yeah. Yeah, did he call today? Mr. Ginsu, he did not call today. Some other people called today, though. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we could call him anyway, but he, sure. skipped, he skipped the day. He skipped the day. Yeah. Well, maybe he, um, since we don't pay him, he can have a break. Mm, yeah, sure. I don't. Is he taking a break, or is he not calling? Like, is it a break, or like he has like a? It's only a break if you're, you know, need like a relief. I think. So. Well, who needs a relief from me? And I'm sure every single hand out there in TV land in the interwebs are like raising their hands because oh, no, I need what? a break from you, Carl. If they need a break from you, then. They're having issues. a hard time trying to stay away from me because I'm. I keep on showing up here. He's I keep on showing up here, and you like turn that off because I need to have a break away from Carl. Uh, you're being hard on yourself, Carl. Everybody uh, is watching can, they, with with no with I'm eager not, ears. They're listening I, with eager ears to what you have to say. It, I'm not hard on myself. I'm on a couch, and the couch is spongy, so. It's actually kind of soft. No, hard, I'm, I'm saying soft. I'm saying you're hard on yourself because you're <laughs> saying that people are uh, are not having a good time listening to what you have to say. But 
Harris? No. No, but I'm talking about your feelings <laughs> towards yourself. I, I, I've tried a few puns. Apparently, it's not going over really well. Um, but this is great because now this is the dice game and we can grab a pen into our hands and jot a number. <laughs> let's pick up one and six. Let's pick up the pen with our hands. Yeah. Some people write with one hand. Some people write with, can write with both hands. So put the pen in the hand that you usually write with, and then think of a number between one and six. You can really you can think of any number, high numbers, low numbers. But Five million two hundred fifty thousand one hundred and twelve. You can think of those numbers, but then go back and again. Think of another number between one and six after you think of your crazy number. Was it 1,284? Maybe it was. Viewers, what do you think the viewers' number was, Carl? Uh, 365 uh, in terms of how many Mountain Dews I am likely to drink in one day. It's probably going to be more than that because, I mean, you drink... Well, you drink at least one a day, and then several times more than one a day. So, well, the, yeah. I bet you're gonna drink like well, d twenty ounces, basically. I, I I have a feeling you're gonna drink at least forty Mountain Dews uh, this year, and, and oh, at least well, yeah, at least did you, forty. Did yes. you drink one? No, I mean, three hundred sixty or four hundred. I mean, oh, four hundred. Well, no, I don't usually double up on on twenty ounces. So you did you drink over a, one day? Cause you know, it's like, that's a okay. lot. Well, th that's a lot, but I'm like, well, I probably should roll, but I'll go back. To Did you drink a 20 ounce every day before you were coming on the program? Uh, no. Oh, no, okay. I didn't really drink at all before I came on the really? program. Really? You started drinking your Mountain Dew when you came on the program? Yeah. Oh, that might be a bad uh, habit then. Well, I usually have bad habits. You want to drink? You should drink something else. Breathing I, I is a bad habit. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that, that the Mountain Dew and the program were mutually exclusive. Though I don't think you. I, I feel like I'm causing a negative health habit in your life now. Six. Yeah. Well, I can certainly drink. Um. Uh. Oh. Water. Gosh. Soy milk. Ew. Don't do that either. <laughs> Did you win? Uh, no. Me Wait, neither. I did win. You oh did? Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, did you forget that you won or what? <laughs> I, I, well, when I, when I'm, when there's passionate talking, you know, it's like, okay, well, I need to defend myself. You're, you're getting passionate? Well. What were we talking about? I forgot. Uh, about, um, Mountain Dew. Oh, and yeah. Soy milk. Oh, soy milk. <laughs> Don't drink that stuff. That's bad for you. What is soy milk? Soy is like a, is, is is like a doesn't have juice. Where does from soybeans? Where, where how do you get liquid out of soybeans? Uh, you press them. And then the juice you can't. I mean, you know how many soybeans? Hey, Freddy, how you doing? I'm doing really good. Having a really lovely Thursday today. How do they get milk out of almonds and soybeans, you know? Well, that's a good question. I have never thought about... Soybeans seems kind of natural because I feel like a soybean pretty much kind of has a lot of liquid in it to begin with. But almonds? Yeah. I have no idea to make almond milk. It's like an almond has almost no like liquid in it whatsoever. An almond is really dry. Yeah. Well, you have to add water or something. You just like soak almonds in water for a long time or something? That could probably be... Um, I don't know. It's crazy to me. Like grind up the almonds or something? Like, uh, like, yeah, like uh, soak it in water for a really long time and then... Yeah. I don't know, like... And then squeeze it, grind it out and squeeze it out? Yeah. Grind oh, it, up it like soaks up the water and then you squeeze the water. Y coffee grounds or something. Or is it like maybe the similar to oil? Because you know that peanut oil, so you can like grind it into peanut butter or almond butter, and then there's a la la layer of oil on the top. And maybe use the oil. Oh yeah, use the oil to make milk. That's probably what they do. Maybe grind up, grind it up, and let it separate. Oil. Seems very crazy. You got almond butter and almond milk. Yeah. Wait, maybe they just have to churn the almond butter. Make it into oh, well, what is almond butter is peanut butter though? Yeah, maybe they take the almond milk and then turn it into almond butter. 
Like the liquid. How they don't have peanut milk. Peanut milk sounds good too. I wonder if uh, cashew butter would taste good. Yeah, I think you could just put anything into into the machine, the grinding yeah. machine. Sure. We make other things into butter. Maybe we've just been missing out on the whole idea of making other kinds of butter. Like. I would like apple butter. Apple butter, mixed mixed nut butter though. They they should just put all those mixed nuts put in there, and it'd be like peanut butter, but it was all the nuts, and it'd be a crazy flavor of all of them. Yeah, yeah no, that's chestnut, too nutty. Hazelnut, cashews, all of them all together in one big nutty butter. Yeah. Butter butter. I would try that. That's almost like one of those hickory bar farm uh, cheese balls. Nut, nutty. Well, what is that? You you get all these different flakes. Um. On, on this cheese ball and, uh, you, you know, like uh, different... Oh, what's the flakes from? Almonds, I think. Oh, okay. Almonds and cheese, huh? So, you, uh, oh, well, yeah, a anything involving cheese is kind of like circular if your favorite. logic to me. Yeah. Coming back to the cheese. Carl loves cheese. cheese. Carl loves cheese. Cottage sour cheese. cream. Cottage cheese. You got any, you got any new cottage anything cheese stories? Dairy, basically. Carl can talk about dairy cheese. forever. What? I like cottage cheese. Did you say cottage cheese? Yes. I yeah, do too. Good. You can put that on an English muffin. Oh, I have not done that, but sour cream, yeah, goes on bagels and sour cream on bagels, huh? And not cream cheese. Sour cream. Well, cream cheese. Sour sure. cream on bagels, though. Yeah. Well, the, um, he, uh, Freddie said cottage cheese on bagels. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese on bagels makes sense, but we want sour cream on bagels. That's what you said. Well, yes, I did. Is that, that what you do? Well, th there's a cream, and you know, um, not not specifically, but there is a a cream inside cottage cheese. And the cream oh yeah, cottage oh, cheese is, is like cream with curd. Right. I think there's the cream and curd. Mm -hmm. Right. And sour cream is not as as runny as as uh, the curds. In, you know, in cottage cottage cheese juice. It's less yeah. runny. It's more Cream. solid than cottage cheese juice. That's for sure. But do you? Do you, do you but put if you want to go more solid, you can have. Um, <laughs> you can um, go all the way to cream cheese. Cream cheese. Yeah, that's right. It's different. The different viscosities of various dairy products. So. It's like you, the dairy product gradient. Do you actually? <laughs> do you actually put sour cream on your bagels though? Uh no, I don't. Oh, okay, that I would be really kind far of out. Well, I am usually far out, but none. You know, like people could be eating, they could eat, be eating like spiders, or something, uh, and you, you know, you'd be like, oh man, that guy's eating spiders. But uh, what if you saw somebody putting sour cream on their bagels? Well, you know, you're like the sour cream goes with nachos. Uh, mm -hmm. It's true. You ever, you've never eaten a spider. I no. might have eaten a spider or two, like berry picking, I think. I hear that people accidentally eat spiders in their sleep. I don't know if I believe those statistics. They're like yeah, 500 people that. a year or something. Heard you're not supposed to believe those statistics. Well, how do you know that you've eaten a spider when you were sleeping? And if, if the statistics are true, then I think that's fine. Right. Because clearly not hurting anyone if everyone's eating them accidentally. Yeah. That would be sure. dumb. The spy, I, I mean... Spiders are not, aren't that smart, but I don't think they're dumb enough to, like, fall into a bigger creature's mouth. Well, like, I mean, it's clearly the spiders that would be able to do that would be, you know, like, selected out for by natural selection, but that still remains that, like, the spiders that would get swallowed by people would be swallowed by people because, you know, they'd be the one spiders to die. And, yeah. But, you, like... You, but, what are they doing though? They're like on their webs and they're like, they like they they fall off their webs and accidentally fall into somebody's mouth, or they're like, this is a warm, moist cave. I'm gonna crawl. I think into it's like the warm, moist cave option. They're like, hey, this makes sense to me, like genetically. I want to get into like a warm cave. Yeah. And then it turns out that they get eaten by the cave. Like, who would expect that? Yeah. No, nevertheless, give Peter Parker that Darwin Award. No. No. <laughs> no. Yes. Okay. Uh, Nine, y oh, hey, it's uh, info time. Seven, six, five, okay. four, three, two. I think it's okay. One. No, it's info time. <laughs> yeah.
here are our answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You're calling me, you're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's a call in television talk show on the radio that's recorded right here in Thurston County every day of the year. And it airs every night, 11.30 p.m. on Channel 22 at 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. on 106.5. Each episode broadcast a week after with Stacey watching this on TV at 11.30 p.m. This episode taped the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyway, you can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 368 or leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. And now back to the program. Are we back? We're back. Good. Hey, uh, you see anything on the news or on the streets? Um, news. No, I don't think I saw anything on either. Uh, I did listen to the Democracy Now! show, which is, I think is a lot of good news, but um, they've just been talking about the whole election thing. Oh, yeah, we got to talk to John Webster. Things about, like, so a bunch of Republicans won things, and then some people are like, oh, I think that neither the Republicans or the Democrats represent me as an American public. And that's kind of how I feel, so... I guess Independence. I don't really care. It's like more about the individual people, which there's a lot of people you'd have to research to figure that all out. I saw but hearing news. that Democrats or Republicans are in control of one thing or another doesn't seem to mean a lot. I don't that I think you know there's such a it, there's so many gradients between people that choosing sides like that is dangerous. Oh, I yeah. agree. Yeah, I saw a news article that, that pegged uh, uh, the um, the seats there at Congress cost four billion dollars per seat. Holy cow, that's an expensive yeah. seat. Yeah. What 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 does that mean? Like uh, uh four billion dollars to have someone like win the election for or whatever. a billion dollars we yeah the for, we, so like for example somebody would run a campaign um each or, senator paid four billion well, dollars uh yeah or are you sure it was I, or, or used four billion dollars to get there that's yes, so much for, you what? know in terms of advertising for a billion Coca-Cola or yeah Four billion. That's crazy. It wasn't four million. It was four B. Four billion. Billion? Are you sure? Billion? Yes. That's. That seems like an insane amount of money. I, I think it could be. Billion dollars. Four billion. Do- I can't even comprehend how much money that is. Yeah, that's confusing. Uh, well, that's why. Um, um. Also, I don't know how to get those stats. That seems like a crazy news stat that people are throwing out there. It's like, well, well, I don't know. Um, what, what, you know what, what number of day is it today? One, is it like one, five, five, one? Uh, one, five, ten, I think. One, one five, five, one, one tomorrow, which is going to be at TCTV. Uh, one, five, one, one tomorrow on the seventh. One, five, five one, zero. One, five, one, one, zero today? Yeah, that's the one. We moved into, uh, 1500s and didn't even, uh, no. celebrate that. Well, guess what? It was on a Monday, as it often is. Uh. <laughs> I feel well, like there's more there's more Monday significant days than there is anything else. That was um, Disease Day. So you 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 might remember it as Disease. Yeah, I remember that. I I only laughed because uh, historically Garfield hates Mondays, and pretty <laughs> oh, yeah, much everyone true. else hates Mondays. More Mondays than any other day. That's what everyone, Garfield does. Yeah, everyone has just fallen asleep during the, the work uh, day. And I, th- Monday. When you, I thought you were going to talk about President Garfield. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know that he's an orange tabby cat. No, no. I, don't, I don't think so. Hey, Freya, how's the production end coming there? Going, coming. Uh oh. I guess you dropped him. We lost him. He dropped us. There was some problem. We dropped each other. But I guess that's okay. I don't know what he was going to say about the production. He'll probably call back if he wants to. Uh, here's this voicemail. So I think it's from Bird. It's calling from a weird number. 
<clears throat> Haven't heard from Bird in a while. Yep. Here he is. Say, hey, Bird. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, guys. How you doing? Real good. This is Robert. Bird. Yes. It's Thursday. Yes. About 12.35 a.m. And it's raining outside. I can hear the raindrops hitting some stuff outside my window. And, uh... Thinking about you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Wondering how the program is going. And uh, saw Coltrane last night. John Coltrane. Got some video posted on YouTube. Also saw Tacoma Rail doing some stuff down there at East Olympia. And uh, it was warm. It's been kind of warm. It was about 50 last night, I guess. When I was out there. It was Got up to almost 60 degrees today. Whoa! So, what? yeah, Thursday. Uh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, Me neither. November. Sixth day of the month. Six. And, uh, yeah, I full guess moon. Thursday. I don't know what time exactly. Maybe not till later. But, it's kind of cool. Uh,. Yeah, you got, you got the boyer. Oh, how's that what? going? Uh, uh, I went to comedy night there last night. Wednesday oh. it was fun. I Vomity. enjoyed it. Yeah. I guess that's happening every Wednesday now. With Sam, Big Sam. Sure. Hosting the comedy night, doing a great job. Thank you, Mr. And, Miller. And, uh, yeah, well, keep Keep it up, you know, keep doing the program and hope to get back on there sooner or later. Love you guys. Bye. Bird loves. That's very nice of you, Bird. Hey, let's call him back. <laughs> Say, hey, Bird. What, what are you, you doing? doing? Or what are you doing? Why are you, what's it <laughs> now? Okay. Yes. Um. Um. Uh, yeah. Yes. Sure. Um. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. This is a bird. We're listening to the phone ring right now. It's, it's better to be affirmative than negative, so I don't really say no. Yes. Maybe you should have an intern to count how many yeses and nos are said throughout. Hello. The Hello. Bird. Program history. Hey, Kenrick. It's the program. How are you doing today? Good job. We're on TV. Hey. And the radio. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. I am well. Oh, good. Thank you. How are you? Oh, real good. Thank you. We're here good. with Carl on the couch. We haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I know. I miss you. <laughs> yeah. It's been too long. <laughs> well... <laughs> How are you guys doing? Uh, uh, real good. Swell. Uh, How's the age, program? Age or just time fine. is just a human construct, and you know. Uh, I think it's. I think it's or, a natural age and time, or is not a human construct. I think it's a natural uh, process. Yeah, yeah, but ask Bunny Rabbit. Can you tell me how much five years is? Uh, the bunny can't. The ra bunny rabbit yeah. can't perceive the exactly. natural process that we can. Exactly. But I don't believe that it's a human construct. I think it's a natural process that we can. We have the ability to comprehend. <sighs> what do you Fair think? Enough. What do you think, Bird? Is is time a human construct? I think the night tonight is very beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> but is is time a human construct, or is it something that's natural that humans have? Created or that humans have uh, the ability to consciously, uh, you know, learn know I, about. I think time is uh, is both a subjective experience and an objective reality. Uh huh. Great. Yes. Well, hey, uh, Bird, you're gonna be at the cream or the the not the 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 bando band dance or dance TV party tomorrow. Oh, are you guys at uh, Burger Night tonight? 
Um, no, we're not. We're we're just here in the studio, in the regular studio. But tomorrow we're going to be at TCT. Okay. The... Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to be there for that. It'd be great to have you. We're going to be there. At, it's going to be at like six o'clock. We might even need some technical help. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I am eager to uh, know more about how to to work that studio. Hey, so, you. Uh, you want a number? Um. Yeah. Uh. Well, let me think here. Um. Give me a four. Nope. Nope. One three six. I lost again. Carl is 500 points oh, still. Yeah. yeah. Well, we still have a chance to come back. Uh, have you uh, seen anything on the streets or the news, Bird? Well, uh, it it is a beautiful night. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, you know, there's been some troubling news recently with uh, Republicans being elected and school uh -oh. shootings and uh, well, that, cases that's... of violence spreading across the land. Hopefully what? it's not related to, you know, Republican policies. Well, that's um, not really trouble. I mean, it could be trouble for some people and the Republicans can probably pass a uh, Keystone XL pipeline now or whatever but I I think it's just kind of like what you know we need to go through as a society or our world to kind of make the United States to kind of learn from our mistakes you know and try to get money out of politics so that we can have a more what else is there well uh, in d politics well a better fashion democracy or better fashion republic. you want to you want to try to get money out of the government Carl are you talking communism we, well, not, not you want to get rid of money communism but if you want people like me or you know someone like maybe um, you know, someone else to have elected office. I, you, you I know, don't want you to be elected office, Carl. No, I mean, I'm no, sorry, but... Someone that is actually more credible than someone that's been in, you know, uh, Congress for 30 or 50 years or, you know, 49 and a half or whatever. It's, it's too long. It's too long. You it don't know what the real long. world is like. You've been in Congress for too long. Maybe is that what you're saying? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, well, they keep getting elected. If they keep getting elected, then that's how it works. Well, th th that's only because th they get X amount of money from Pfizer and Coca-Cola. That's why they get elected. You know, the people have to vote, and even if they're getting the money, their people are voting for them. They're maybe the all the Coca-Cola people can do is make advertisements for them, but really it comes down to what people are going to vote for. Well, the, yeah, but if you, uh, you, you notice this yourself, that there were, like, uh, some people, they didn't have... Um, any it, it, sort of running mate uh, going against? Yeah, I don't know what's with that. Yeah. Um, and if you can't have a, a good equitable contest, then of course the system is kind of flawed. Yeah. Well, hey, Bird, you want to come on the on the program in, here in the studio in the future? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, Maybe, how about, we could certainly yeah. use an intern or volunteers <laughs> or about, whatever. How about uh, how about Saturday? <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, no, uh, Saturday. Uh, Two straight time? days? What? What time would that be? Like at nine? Nine-ish? Yes. Yeah. I, could, I could do that. Nine. Sweet. Uh. All right, Bird, you're on the calendar for Saturday at nine o'clock p.m. Wonderful. Um, Thanks for calling. You, well, gonna... you, you called first. We're just returning. Right. I hope you have a great night. Thank you for returning my call. Are You're you, welcome. Are you going to come around to uh, TCTV? Uh, he said he would already. All right. Fair enough. All right. Thanks, Bird. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Six o'clock. Have a great night. 440. you yeah, away, but that was last week. Viewers, don't go. Yeah. Go next month for the Cream of the County Awards. Bird, have you, have you filled out the Cream of the County Awards yet? I have not. Uh, oh, yeah, I did. 
There's several that I'm not willing to respond to, probably. But you already said like street. Not, not prepared and. You know, well, whatever. Did difficult. you did you say street, street and pizza and park and church and stuff already? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, then that's. I don't okay. know that he came up with judge or. Oh yeah. Well, he he should have said some. He wants to skip. Uh, we'll yeah. talk to you later, Bert. Thanks. Bye. Take care. Thanks. Elias sent us a crazy text message. But I'm not going to read it because it's really long. So let's just call her back. You been talking to her? Uh, intermittently. Recently, since last time, since Monday? Uh, yeah. You did? I, we talked a while of, the, you know, the, there was a great break between two groups. And What groups? Um, down in CRC. Oh, um, your groups. Okay. Yeah. Um, depression... Bipolar Alliance and some other group. Yeah, so there Which was a break you? between, and the room was already kind of lively, so I had to put on your. They're being manic, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say. Uh, but anyway, it's a depression. <laughs> your, it's a good. It's a good thing if your depression study group or whatever is, ma or I mean, Me. is well, excited because well, they're, well, they're, they're not depressed. Me, um, I guess. I'm not able to I come think to the phone right now. To so have a leave level me a message and one, I'll get back to you. Maybe. Uh, four. All right. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, <laughs> Elias. It's a program. You can call us back. You have about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Yeah. I want to hear about you and Carl's correspondence. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, call us back. Oh, and go to TCTV tomorrow. I think Manila was supposed to. Maybe we should call Manila and remind her. Yeah. Um, well, so what have you, you been saying? Uh, yeah. Uh, so I had to put on my uh, ear pod earphones. <laughs> ear pods. Ear pods. iPod earbuds. Earbuds. Uh, so that I could hear... Um, what she was saying, and oh, and you t you called her this time, huh? On the, well, not just or texting. she called me back or something, um, but just to chat. Yeah, just to chat. But um, uh, the mania is, is kind of a touchy subject. You don't want to have a mania level of five when the mania level of one um, well, of would be okay to have uh, any. Uh, one through five, you know, high five is the highest. One is the. the what level are we at right now? Well, I would say we're at one. Oh, really? You're not even at a level two mania? No. Uh, How about now? <laughs> hey, uh, Manila, it's the program. You can call us back. Tomorrow we're going to be going to TCTV. That's going to be on the 7th. 440 Yager Way. You said you wanted to go to that. That was a long time ago. So I'm just giving you a reminder. Uh, how are you doing? You know that Carl Manila been talking off the program a little bit. I'm telling you about it. One, well, what's mainly level two? Like, what do you have to be to do well, to be well, at level two? Um, if, I, if, I, if I'm really giggly, maybe that would be a mania four. You know, oh, so when I'm, you're doing that giggling, I well, see that happen here. So is that you're having that, manias? That's a higher energy. <laughs> Those are, I thought you were just having a good time. No, Those no, are like psychotic breaks I, you're having? Well, or? No, no, not necessarily. Mania is when, when it's, you know, there's a, an excited energy in the air or whatnot. And that's not a bad thing necessarily? No, not not too much. But Sounds like a bad thing. Cause well, mania, mania, like, oh! Well, the... Uh, the uh, Mania seems like uncontrollable craziness. Well, yeah. Um, sometimes uh, things kind of, uh, you, you know, like, I don't know, like a movie like Anger Management or whatever, you, you know, where I'm just like giggling. Maybe not about that movie per se, but I mean just like any sort of comedy uh, that, it, you know, is like just really gets me going and giggly. Um... It's not really good to get me quite so giggly all the time because uh -huh. um, uh, 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 w w the, the, there's like a certain term that uh, one would say of the, uh, um, like um, uh, everything moderation. That's it. And so uh, you don't, you know, like drink like 50 gallons uh -huh. of Mountain Dew, right? 
unless you know 20 ounces can be okay so that's what I'm talking about moderation hey it's break time commercial break Oh yeah, that's still there. That's but that's that's, a, that's okay. We can say nothing is fine. Change the program um, situation. Um, Calling maybe, about what? Well, nothing. Three three weeks or three months. If we're still using this background tape, maybe we can just use the the bottom character generator or character generator for the bottom to say. Uh, Theme weeks again, or th- theme days. You want to get back into theme days? Is that what you're saying? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, if we're doing something like that, you know, like three months time, maybe we're so bored about having a, a general topic discussion that we need we need a specific. You want you want to go back topic. to themes? Are you feeling? Not right now. But, uh, hey, Lewis, how are you doing? Yeah. I'm doing all right. We're on TV. Just yeah, all right. I know. I just got to say that every time I think, you know. Okay. What's up? Sky. Yeah, we're we're doing this thing. I wanted to call because we're doing this, the Cream of the County Awards. You're doing the what? County Awards. Cream, cream. of the county. Like creamy. Like, like cream of the crop. Yes. Oh, cream of the cra- okay. Cream of the county awards, and we wanted to ask you about the best, some of the best things in Thurston County. You were here in the past, but you can still maybe get some votes. We're trying to get more votes for the cream of the county awards. Oh, okay. So like what I like that's in Thurston County. It's not what you like. It's what is the best. Just what's the best thing in Thurston County? Yeah, in various subjects. So I got some subjects, and I want to hear what is oh, okay. the best. Okay, like, what's, what's some subject? Uh, what's the best street in Thurston County? In your opinion. Best well, in, in, no, in, no, in fact. Uh, best street in yeah. Thurston County? Oh, that's, that's a tough one. Yeah. Uh, hmm, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess... Well, see, I'm try- I was going to say Puget Street, but actually it's pretty, like, deep. A lot of steep streets in Thurston County. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yeah, this, yeah. Why not Puget Street? Puget, all right. Best street, Puget Street. What's the best pizza? Best pizza? Ooh. Um, well, I mean, I guess I might have to say old school. Yeah. All right. That's what. That's probably going to win because it's really winning. So far, what's the best park? Best park. Uh. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. That like. Pass. The can, one. The oh. one by the water. Heritage. Uh. What? Downtown by the lake. Yeah, we're well, no by the by yeah by the sound. But it's like on the it's like on the west side by the first roundabout kind of. Oh yeah, I don't know what that park is called. It's west, like oh, something it's of the one. seven oars. Oh, that one? Are you talking about that? No, I think you're talking about the one that used to be like a construction zone, right? Yeah, it's like on. Um, yeah, it's like if you're on if you're coming from downtown going towards the west side, it's like the second roundabout. Instead of going to the west side, you go. To yeah, the it's right. on. It's on West Bay. I don't know what it's called though. Oh, West, west Bay. West Bay Drive. Park. Yeah. All okay. right. I couldn't remember the name, but West Bay Drive. Yeah, that's 
So it's not right. like at the roundabout. Okay, what's the best church? Right. Best, best church? Yes. Uh... I don't think I ever went... So, pass? You want to pass? What? You want to pass? Yeah, I don't think I... I don't have an okay. opinion on best, churches. Best Christian school. County. What? School. Cool. School, school, oh, like school. education. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't really know if I can give a. Well, you don't. You don't have to. You don't have to be qualified. You can say pass. You can pass, or yeah, you can I just. Mean, I, I don't think I could give a like a uh, well considered answer because the only school I ever really attended was Evergreen. It doesn't need to be well considered, necessarily. Well, I, I, I mean, I guess. Unless you want to say, okay. if you can, you can Evergreen. pass, if you want, or you don't, if you don't uh, want to I, say. I guess I'll just say Evergreen. I guess I just like don't really even know. You don't have uh, to know. It's not. It's not really fair. Yeah, yeah Evergreen. Fuck it, Evergreen. Yeah. No, nobody no, really like knows it. Lewis. It's not. It's not like. Fa it's not like a fair thing. It's just like you know. It's it's yeah. a. It's some kind of yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just like I don't even really know any schools besides Evergreen. It's an unfair and, contest like, where people yeah. just say things and it, they don't really put too much thought into them. And lots of times, I bet they're not even saying that things are the best. They're probably just saying things they are familiar with, most likely. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing. But yeah, Evergreen. Evergreen yeah. is the best. Cool. Best best dressed. The I came to Thurston County. Oh, good. Yeah, best dressed in Thurston County. Best what? Dressed person. Oh. Clothing. Uh, current resident. Uh, yes. yeah. Mm. Or or I don't know. Why you want you want to, maybe 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 not. Uh. I don't know. Has anyone nominated me for this? No. <laughs> one time, one time, Dave actually, David Hokia told me I was the best dressed person in Olympia. Yeah, well, that, you can say yourself, uh, but that I'm, I'm not gonna vote for myself. All right. Obviously. Uh, gotta think about that. I mean, even bringing up yourself is somewhat <laughs> of a vanity. Yeah. Uh. But yeah. Rachel did though, actually. So. What? Rachel, Rachel tried to vote for herself. I mean, she did. She did vote for herself. Wait, Rachel. Rachel. I don't know. But uh, Rachel. what do you, what do you what's your vote? Best dressed person. Best dressed. Uh, I gotta think about that. Scott Young. I'll vote for Scott, Scott Young. Young. Okay, best jail. Best jail. Jail. Wait, like like, like jail, like prison. Like prison, yes. like light prison. Uh, I well, I don't. I think I will not answer past that because I've never been in any of the jails. What's the best so judge? Who's the best judge? Best judge? Yeah. Like, like an official court judge, or just like best judge of character? It's kind of up to your your. Uh, it's up to you. Some people have voted for official judges, others for people who they know. Huh. Well, I don't really. I mean, I don't. I don't know any of the judges in Dane County, which it's, is where I live it's now. It's kind of up to you to what you want to say. Uh, best judge. Do you know anyone that judges? Uh, I mean, yeah. Are they Thurston County residents? I don't know if they're good judgment. I mean, everyone judges something. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, like, I guess I'm trying to think of someone who... Their judgment is well respected in the community. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you don't know? Pass. Sarah Adams. Sarah, Sarah Adams. Adams. All right. I'll give you. I'll tell yeah. you something. Right now, I'm in the lead for best judge because other people have voted for me. So. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm voting for Sarah. Adams. Sarah Adams. Yeah. What's the best burger? Best burger. Um, there's what? Oh shit! See now, I can't remember the name of the place now. But that place that's like by St. Martin's. It's kind of like a like Japanese Hans? burger. 
Hansberger, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Nobody has said that one so far. I, I like that one, too. Yeah. That place is good. What's the best public toilet? Best public toilet? Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. It's time for the final dice game. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Should I pick a number? Yeah. Uh... Four. Three. Dang. Three, three, six, one, six, five. So three, three, six, six, one, five. Carl won. With six. Oh, wow. I didn't get any. Uh, best public toilet. Yeah. It's been so long. Uh. You, know, you can pass, too, if you want. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I... My first instinct is to say the voyeur, and I think it's only because it's maybe the only public bath or public bathroom that I ever puked in. Well, do you uh, want to vote for know. voyeur? That's that's. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a good reason. I, I think I feel so. Like I can't really remember. Yeah. Okay. Then the voyeur. Okay, because with the, with your the vote, voyeur. with your vote, the voyeur is now in the lead for best public toilet. Oh. Yay! Oh wow! So yeah, I think I hopefully win. Sick. Really, that would be a good. What? That would that would be a good award to give to them. Yeah, best public toilet. <laughs> What's the best? Or, I mean, I feel like um, best in this sense, at least for me, is like most memorable. Sure, it's kind of interpretive. Not necessarily most sanitary. It's interpretive. <laughs> uh, what's but, the what's the best coffee? Best coffee? Cof coffee, like Java. Oh, coffee. Joe. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, uh, I don't care about coffee. Okay, I don't best, care about that. best local business. Uh, oh, local That's a very wide. It's a broad one. Uh, does it have to still be in business? No. Uh, no, I guess not. Oh, then I, I will vote for jackpot. Oh, yeah, jackpot. All right, that one is... You're not going to win, though, because nobody's going to vote for out-of-date businesses. But so far, n nobody has named the same one twice. Uh, best, okay, here, best local TV show. Uh, obviously, your daily hour. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're really winning that one. So far, Carl voted for dancing. Um, best band. <laughs> best band. Best band. Yeah, it's hard. That's that's it's hard. There's so many bands, right? Yeah, well, just, I haven't been there in like a year and a half. Oh yeah, so. Uh, I well, I, I'll just say, uh, Malika Dance Singer. Okay. That, I really, I really enjoyed seeing that band. I never stopped enjoying it. Uh, best bartender. Best, uh, I don't know, man. All right, best uh. Uh, can I say Steve Y? He's not really a bartender, but he works at a bar. All right, Steve Y. Yeah, from uh, the, the karaoke host, the Clipper. Okay. Uh, best police officer. Yeah, uh, a weird category. I don't even know. Best name. comedian. Best comedian. Oh wait, actually, I thought of something for the best police officer. I don't know their name, but. The police officer who uh, helped me when my car ran. The police yeah. officer who helped Lewis one time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, uh, best comedian. Best comedian. Uh, Reed Urban. Oh, yeah. Reed's going to win that one, maybe. Yeah. Um, best barista. Best barista. Uh, I guess I will. Pass on that one again because I don't care about most, coffee. I oh, yeah. Most real. Okay, this is a weird one. Most reliably serviced neighborhood as far as utilities and like power and water st and stuff goes. Uh. I don't. Uh. I don't know. Alright. Uh, yeah. I don't really understand the question. Yeah. Like, I'm not. Well, the only time I ever really had any utility issues. It was when I lived in Tumwater. So, so you wouldn't vote for that? Not Tumwater. All right. Um, 
Do you have any? You think you, there's any more categories? Do you think that we should put on here that we're missing out on? More categories. Uh, Uh, no, all right, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing that. This is the Cream of the County Awards, and then we're going to be doing that at, at TCTV on December 5th. Okay, so it's going for a while. Yeah, we're going to be doing this all the way through December 5th. We're going to be getting these th votes, and then we're going to be giving out some awards. Huh. How's the, uh, uh, yeah. Oh wait, I thought of one, well, I don't know, if this is maybe just like me being statistical, but, um, best former resident of Thurston County. You, you just won an award, is that what? <laughs> what? I mean. Yeah, I want to be, I want to be eligible for an award. <laughs> you're, you're probably, yeah, but you can, you can, be, yeah, be, I don't want to, but that's like f former, it's, I think. Ever? Former's not current. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we we could have the Lewis Award. No, you don't mean no. That's, that's like a fake award. You can't make an award. Uh, I I, I think we could. Has, it's not real unless there's competition. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, but there's a lot. There's a lot of people who used to live in Olympia. All I right. would probably lose to Kurt Cobain. He's way more famous than They me. have to have left, though? Best former Thurston yeah. County resident. Former Thurston County resident. Uh, former... Interesting. I only known him to either live in Seattle or Grace Harbor County. All right, well, Lewis, you want to vote for yourself for best former Thurston County resident? Is that why? You... Uh, no, I, I said voting for yourself is not allowed. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to vote for Kurt Cobain either. There's a lot no. of other... You don't want to vote for yourself? Uh, no, I'm not going to vote for myself. I'm going to vote for Justin Vincent. Okay. I don't know what the... I mean, if you're not voting for yourself, I don't know what the point of this category is, but... Um, <laughs> I'll vote for... Well, you're just going to ask everybody every category from now on, right? Yeah. People can chime in. All right. You know. I'm going to vote for... Uh, I guess I'll vote for Lewis. Oh, okay. When, uh, well, I don't know. I feel like you're, you're, you're... That's why the category is there. Maybe I should vote for Lazy Horse. What? Lazy. Remember Lazy Horse? Lazy Horse. I don't know if I do remember that person. Or oh, Jessica? Yeah, oh, Jessica. Yeah, Jessica's good. Uh, what about uh, Catman? Oh yeah, Are Cat. That's a good one. But you already you already yeah. voted for Justin Vincent, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I do like Justin, but I kind of forgot about Catman. Oh uh, well, I put you down at Justin Vincent. It's the end of the program anyway. We made it through the whole episode without losing consciousness or dying. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks for participating. Maybe we'll tell you about the uh, the results later. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll check in uh, online. All right, bye. All right, bye. There it goes. I was Lewis. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks, uh, Freddie and Carl. Thanks for being here today. You're welcome. Thanks, Elias and Bird. Uh, and thank you, Mr. Ginsu, even though you didn't call mm -hmm. in. We, we came close to calling you, but we also came close to death. Thanks, anyway. We're about as close to calling so you as we're scary. close to death. Oh, scary month is over. I feel relieved and not scared anymore. Well, I was still scared. Uh oh. I was scared about maybe how entering to, a mania. Yeah. How what? to feel? Level in my head. Oh. Uh, how what? to feel? What? Sixty minutes. Do you say that? Oh my God. Um, check out tomorrow for the TCTV uh, thing. Sweetness. Thank Episode you. number and date and day of the week. Thank you, TV Channel 22. Yeah. 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. Uh, YHWM.com. Check it out. Full archive online. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. 360-836-4304. Leave a message. Get on TV. Crew, you guys want to be on the crew? I'm doing a thing, Ken, if you want, though. Can't read the crew very well. Um, 
UFO FBI, that's a good thing. TCTV, thank you. Whoa. Laboria.com, Sega Feeling. Jordy E, fabulous. Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. Viewers and listeners, hell yeah, dog. Woof, woof. Goodbye. Adios.